Well, hey guys, welcome to my 17th Python 3 tutorial. Uh, now, it's, I know it's been a while since my last tutorial, um, and I apologize for that. Uh, I got pretty busy for a while, um, but now I'm back and running. So, um, you can look forward to a lot more tutorials. Uh, now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about uh, string methods. I'm going to be showing you guys some, some string methods that you can use. Um, pretty helpful throughout your programs if you want to, uh, if you need to kind of modify a string. Um, these can be used for that. So why don't I just go ahead and get started. Um, now all these methods they can be used you, you can either use a string literal just like use the, the the string just like this or you can use a variable that contains a string um, and I'm just going to use a variable that contains a string just because it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to do str dummy for string dummy uh, and this will have the knights who say me. All right. So the first uh, method that I'm going to perform on this uh, variable is called lower. Um, and so let me, why don't I just go ahead and show you guys how to use it and what it does. Um, now, again, to, since this is um, these are methods of the string class, uh, they all have to be used using dotted notation. Um, so basically, what that means is you type in the variable name of the class uh, of the the string the the variable name of the object because uh, I'll get again. I'll get more into this later. Uh, objects and classes, um, they're pretty important. Um, but all you need to know right now is that this variable is an object of the string class, and so you put the dotted notation after the object. And if you just wait a second here, you can see this box pops up, and this has all the methods that you can perform on the uh, st the string dummy variable that I have there. Um, and I'm going to do a method called lower. And it's just empty parentheses. What this does is it just makes everything, every uh, character, lowercase. Um, and then it doesn't actually, none of these um, methods actually affect the value that is in the variable. Um, because as you can see when I print this out, it still has uppercase. But basically, what you would do with something like this is you could either store it in another variable, and then you'll, and then you'll have something that contains this this exact string right here or um, if you wanted to just print out this one time you could just put this inside of a print statement um, now the next one is the exact opposite oops it is called upper and you can guess it yep it just makes everything uppercase um, so the same basic thing as up here um, now the next one I want to show you guys is replace and what this one does this one actually takes some some arguments um, and this one replace here we go ah, I spelled it wrong this one uh, replaces any one letter you want uh, or what not one letter um, one character so I guess letter but it could be any any character with another character so I could replace s and then this first one is the one you want to replace and comma the second one is the one you want to replace it with so I'm gonna replace it with how about a T that sounds good. And now you can see uh, there was an S here, now there's a T, there was an S here, now there's a T. Um, so uh, there's that's that method. Now the next one is called split. And let's see our dummy dot split. Um, oops. And this one, you can you can take uh, it can take arguments, but it doesn't necessarily need to. So if I have no arguments, it just splits it at every single white space it finds. Um, so you can see the knights who say me. And it puts it into a, a list or a sequence. Uh, I believe in this case it's a list. Um, now if I do this, oops, I should do that. Now I can do an argument which says I'm going to separate it at an S okay and this is what I want to separate it at so now you can see at every single S it gets rid of the S and then separates it there um, and I can also do can also take one more optional uh, argument and this will be how many times you want to split at max and I'm gonna say one so just the first S it splits it I can also do uh, uh, oops sorry I can't do that um, if you want it to just split at the white space, uh, but only split like two times, you would have to do a white space, uh, just a blank, um, oops, 
like a, a just a space in the in the print in the string there, and then just put your two. So you can see it it splits it at the first two, and then after that it doesn't split it anymore. Um, all right. So this this last method I'm going to show you guys it actually requires uh, a a sequence, um, and I'm going to use a list. So I'm just going to do list dummy, um, and let's have it be let's let's see what should we have in it. We'll have hello there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, not gentlemen. So now we got our list here. You can see it's a list. Um, now what this last one does, uh, it's a little bit different than these previous methods because um, it's going to join this list um, or any sequence that you want. It'll join it using a string that you provide. Now I could join it with this string that I had up here, um, but you'll see why I don't want to do that. So what you can do is something like this. You can just have a blank white space. Uh, you can just use a string literal. Uh, is easiest to see what I mean in this case. So then just a string literal, then the dotted notation, and then join. And in parentheses, you put what you want to join with that string. And I'm going to join list dummy. And you can see, uh, did not mean to do that. You can see it joined this list uh, with that space. And it's not still joined uh, by that, so you would have to store it in another variable. So you can also store it with something like a dash, something like this. Um, so you can see it stores it with uh, it joins it with a dash. Now I'll show you why I didn't really want to do the. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, why I didn't want to join it with this string dummy I had, um, it'd get a little out of control because uh, every single space ev between every single item in this list, it put the knights who say knee. So it's it's kind of a little crazy. Uh, don't necessarily want to do that. Um, now actually for all of these methods, I just want to say one last thing about this. For all of these methods, you don't actually have to call it using a string literal. You can call it using the string class itself. So just str and you can see it'll change colors because it's a keyword. And then let's say I want to do split. So now I'm going to need to put in uh, parameters because uh, it doesn't know what I want to call split on. So I'm going to call it on the string dummy, and now you can see it splits it. And I can do the same thing for upper on the string dummy that I have. So um, th you can kind of do this on all of them, but it's just, it's probably a little bit easier if you just, it's, it's always better um, when you're dealing with objects. Um, it's usually just, usually you're just going to call it straight off of the object, uh, just using the object. You're rarely going to do it at this way at the bottom here, but I thought I'd just show it to you anyway. Um, all right, so that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I showed you guys some of the, uh, again, some of the string methods that you can perform. They're very helpful, um, and you'll, there'll be lots of cases where you, uh, well, you want to use them. Now, there's also a whole bunch more um, string methods that you can use, and if you guys want to take a look at those, you can just go help str, and then it'll show you all of the string methods that they have. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, if you want to look through it then feel free to do that. I'm not going to stop you. Um, you can also go online to Python's website and it has documentation on all of these as well. Um, so uh, yeah, that's all, I'm gonna, that's all I have to say about string methods for the moment. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.